What actually happens when you pass a portal through another portal? A question that surely skipped through the mind of most players when they first started the game's many puzzles, until they realized the gun has a built-in safety to not allow you to do that. And that safety, while being a way for the developers to stop players from breaking the game, may also have saved the player's life and beyond from the absurd craziness that would ensue. You see, these portals that are shot out of the Aperture Science handheld portal device, commonly referred to as the portal gun, allow the player's care character Shell to create portals that act as gates between each other, allowing Shell to quickly traverse areas or reach normally unreachable places as she moves through a series of puzzles, motivated with the promise of cake at the end of the testing. But that cake is a lie. The portals themselves have no inside, so stepping through one of them is like stepping through a door, as whatever goes through one instantly appears out of the other. And even more, the traveling object will always exit with the same velocity and acceleration it entered with, and at the same position and angle. So if a box enters the orange portal near its bottom, it will then come out of the bottom of the blue, traveling at the same speed no matter how far away they are from each other, nor what orientation each of the portals is at. So knowing that each of the portals is essentially one side of the same door, what happens if you were to take one and pass it through the other? As cleverly explained by other science channels like Minute Physics that label the top of the blue and orange, say for instance, we grab the orange portal and pass its top through the bottom of the blue, in theory what we would see happen is the orange portal start to pass out of the bottom of itself at the same relative orientation. But there's one problem. The orange portal will only be able to push itself so far through the blue before it gets stuck on itself and is unable to keep going. If we do the inverse of this and pass the bottom of the orange through the top of the blue, we end up with the same problem. However, if we pass the top of the orange through the top of the blue, now there's enough room for the orange to pass out of itself and continue into the blue where the orange then comes out of itself a second time at the same relative orientation to where it entered at. This is until the orange portal gets to the point that it would completely pass through the blue and out of itself, but none of this is what actually happens. This is all keeping in mind that since neither portal has an inside, we should always be able to see 100% of each portal. So you see, the orange and blue portal being essentially made out of a cluster of connecting charged particles with unknown sci-fi properties have mass, and unless both of them are infinitely thin, or made out of massless particles like photons, the orange portal has to somehow come out of itself as it finishes moving through the blue portal, which once again causes the orange to get stuck. But this is the least of our and our friends' horrific problems. You see, shoving one gateway made out of charged particles that connect to each other when shot against a flat surface through one another, while in theory would see one portal start coming out of itself, in reality might likely see something beyond catastrophic occur. And believe me, neither you or a sick person would want to be around when that safety feature accidentally turns off. Portals are thought to work via a process known as quantum tunneling. Even the game describes the portal gun as the Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device in an attempt to explain how this thing works. Quantum tunneling, not to be mistaken with wormholes, that while functioning as a gateway from one location to another, being a four-dimensional tunnel with three-dimensional openings, wouldn't allow Shell to instantly step through one end as she appears out of the other other, while maintaining her speed and direction. Quantum tunneling, however, does. This is because quantum tunneling refers to a process by which a particle, or in this case a person, can overcome and cross a barrier almost instantly appearing on the other side. Because we're now dealing with a quantum world, there's also a probability, no matter how small, that the object would also bounce off of the barrier instead of passing through it, making it take a number of attempts before the object could successfully pass through to the other side. Furthermore, the fact that a portal allows an object to instantly appear out of the other would have some major consequences for a person entering one of these things, let alone another portal. In order for something to instantly appear out of a portal, this means the portals would have to accelerate the mass of that object to just under the speed of light, which is still too slow for what we see happen in the game. One explanation is that this means the portals themselves must really be acting as some sort of two-dimensional mirrors that are really projecting particles through space, accelerating them to a high velocity, and then reflecting the objects like a mirror would to alter the trajectory of their particles as they seem to instantly appear out of the other portal's end. The other simple explanation is that the portals allow particles to tunnel through both space and time, making each portal the linked inverse of the other, which makes sense. This could also explain the colors of the portals themselves, because light coming off of an object that is perceived as moving away from us is observed to be a more reddish 
hued or red shifted light. That is to say, its color is more biased towards the red end of the visible spectrum, while the light coming from an object moving toward us is known to be blue shifted. So knowing that each portal is the inverse of each other, putting these two quantum link gateways through one another might not be the best idea. Which luckily makes the true answers to some of the strange questions I saw after perusing through scientific articles and forums asking questions such as, if I were to take a portal gun, shoot a portal into my mouth and the ground and jump in, what would physically happen and what would I look like, is that you wouldn't make it that far. Same as if you attempted to smack two portals together while attempting to pass through one, which while resulting in your body crushing itself as if stuck in a hydraulic press, you still wouldn't make it to that point. The lame answer is that attempting to pass a portal through another would simply see them continually bounce off of each other. The horrific answer, however, is that if two portals intersected, they would keep going through themselves an infinite amount of times instantaneously, essentially disappearing from an observer's perspective. One thought is that what would be happening is that each portal would absorb each other to create a singularity forming a new black hole, while the other is that from the portal's perspective would see them suddenly accelerate to the speed of light and then disintegrate, releasing their mass as energy causing a massive explosion. But how massive do you say? One theory is that the energy released would be amplified to an infinite amount, which while sounding crazy, isn't. Because this energy explosion would end up borrowing all the energy and mass from the rest of the universe from every point in time, and then explode again, releasing it back to the universe as a new Big Bang. So for the love of science, do not intersect two portals. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved a dark piece of information for last. If you were to suddenly jump into a portal, even if it worked, you most likely wouldn't survive as the temperature of the quantum jump would freeze you to negative 385 degrees Fahrenheit. Or hey, you could just watch this video about another strange question. See you in the next one.